one of the first things you need to do when you log into uh, HMH into math is to assign content to your classes that are synced through Clever. This is important uh, because if you don't do this, you can't assign things to the students and you also can't uh, make assignments through Schoology. So we're going to walk through this process. If you click on My Classes, <clears throat> you will see uh, all the classes that are synced here. There may be classes such as this advisement that are synced. Uh, everything is synced with Clever, so you just would ignore those. Um, but the first time you come in, you may get a message to do this. If you don't, if you click the refresh button, that typically will pull that message up, as you see here. And so now we've got a number of classes that we need to connect content to. So we're going to say, let's go. So the next thing you will see is the first class in the list. And we can see this is a math class. So we do need to open up math and select, in this case, uh, this will be the geometry. So we say save and next. Here's another math class, so let's do that again. Another geometry. Here's another geometry. Now you can see, here's the advisement class, so you would simply click, we're not linking this to anything, and say next. We're done. We can say let's go. And now these classes are set up. Um, let's refresh the page. And now you can see each of these classes have the math connected to it. The next thing we want to show you is how to set up a assignment in Schoology. And just as a, a general discussion, the students can do a lot of the work in HMH. The only time you really need to use Schoology is if you want to assign some kind of um, assignment or assessment where you need a grade that you then pass back to Infinite Campus. Otherwise, the work can be done in HMH. And HMH is, is a pretty powerful platform, actually. So if you don't need to pass a grade back, we would encourage you to use the platform. But let's say that we need to pass a grade back. So I'm going to go to my classes. And <clears throat> the, one of the problems with the HMH naming system, which we don't control, is the name of the, the class. So this is a pretty good name, except it doesn't show you the section number. So it's hard sometimes to tell which class goes with which class in Schoology. We do have period numbers at the end of the names, but unfortunately, as you can see in this case, there are two with um, first period name. So we need to check and see which one matches the Schoology course. The way you can do this is you can go to View Class, Go to students, and then look at your students. Go back to school G, find a class that should match. So here's a first period class. I'm going to go to my students. And I can see that um, the first student on this list matches the first student on this list. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, change this name. You can't change it. Uh, this is what it is. So you're going to have to um, remember this, and, and we may have some options where we can make some changes, but at least initially, you may have to do a little uh, treasure hunt to find these. So once you do that, once you know which one it is, then I know that this one matches this Schoology class. So let me add some materials in here and see how that works. So I'll go back to Add Materials. Use the HMH link here. And then I'm going to do something um, just that's very quick. Typically, you'll come in at this point. Um, it may prompt you to log in, but um, if it does, it's a, it's a quick login. And I'm just going to go to something simple. So I'm going to go in this first lesson, and I'm going to give them this assessment. So what you do is you come in here and you say, create an LMS link. Fill out this information here. Pick the class that you need it to go to. And in this list, there's only one, I'm sorry, there are two first periods. So let's go back and look. This is first period um, with this one. 
So let me come back in here, and there's the first period with the one. So I'm going to click, select that one and assign it. And now it's created that link. So now Schoology will take me back into Schoology, and it will show me that um, assignment. So let's do what we do with any assignment that we link. Let's go in. Um, <clears throat> it looks like it's automatically enable, enabling grading, which is nice. Um, as always, you can retitle it, but don't change anything else that's up here. Um, you'll need to select the grading task and uh, the category. So if I was a student and I clicked on this, this actually mirrors closely what they would see. Um, this will contact uh, HMH, pull in the activity, and then give them the start button so they can actually do it inside of Schoology. Once that uh, assignment is completed, if it's an auto grading assignment like most assessments are, then that grade will be uh, recorded in Schoology and uh, as well as HMH, and then you can push it back to Infinite Campus. There are a few steps to do this, but once you've done it a few times, you can get the routine down and it should become easier to do. If you have any questions, please let us know.